Happy holidays, friends, and welcome back to another speed build. Today I am continuing my Christmas village set little series that I'm doing. And uh, today I'm doing a combination toy store and flower shop with two apartments above. And I am building this here in Windenburg in this sort of, uh, I don't know, square area of town. Um, it's where I built the converted fire station, that's uh, apartments, and then it's close to the uh, church build that I did uh, before. Uh, so it's not right next to it, but pretty close. And I thought doing a toy store for the holiday season would be perfect. And I really like the idea of doing a kind of combination building um, where it's like two stores on the same lot. Uh, so I thought a flower shop would make sense. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, f I guess technically a flower shop. It won't really have the like arrangements that you can make in the game. Um, I just used a lot of uh, flower decor items from, um, you know, the catalog. Uh, but I think the effect is still pretty nice. Um, there will be, you know, a flower ranging table and there's also a greenhouse that I did off of the side. Uh, so I think that kind of you know tells that story and and worked pretty well and unlike the church that i did in my last video these two storefronts are actually based off of a couple different christmas village sets um, so i'll put some photos up for uh, about those uh, if you want to take a look uh, but yeah, I really liked uh, how these looked. The uh, toy store will be on the left and the flower shop is on the right. And yeah, the toy store has like the, you know, kind of rougher stone on the bottom level. And then it's got the brick with the framing on the second floor. Uh, and I had kind of forgotten that we had that brick with the framing. So that actually worked out really nicely. I was worried I wouldn't really be able to recreate that. Um, and then it has this little turret off the side um which you know is round in the actual village set uh reference um but i just don't really like using round walls and rooms if i can <laughs> avoid it they still just don't really work that well um so i just did a square one which i think um you know still gets the feeling across that i wanted uh so yeah i think that i think that still looks good um, and then the right is the flower shop. Um, and I think the uh, design worked out pretty well. Um, I went pretty heavy on the red and green theming for Christmas. Um, so uh, yeah, not maybe not like the most stylish of builds that I've done. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to, you know, really lean into the, the kitschiness of, of Christmas village sets. So I really kind of went all out on this one. And the first part that I'm furnishing here is the flower shop. I just do this counter at the back um, and then I'll pull out a whole bunch of stuff. I'll skip ahead. And then I decided to do this sort of, um, I was basically trying to recreate those big coolers that have you know fresh flowers in them uh, in, in flower shops. So uh, that's what the, the doors are here. And I'll add in uh, shelves with a bunch of different uh, plants on them. Um, so I thought that was kind of a, a cool way to to recreate that uh you know unfortunately there isn't really a way to have it be functional or anything like i don't think you could get anything out of there um so it's really just decorative uh but i still thought it was kind of a neat touch kind of filled up some space and gave it a little bit of that uh, realism and then i skip ahead i pulled out a whole bunch of different plants so uh yeah i used a whole bunch of different things um, and now I'm just kind of uh, trying to arrange them in a way that, um, you know, makes a little bit of sense. And I was really disappointed because there is a really nice table that came with the blooming. It was either the blooming rooms kit or the greenhouse uh, kit, uh, but it basically just had one snap point on the top of it and one on like a lower shelf. And that's it, even though it's like a really it's like the size of a dining table. Uh, so that was really disappointing because that would have looked really nice in here. And yeah, I used a couple of these uh, wall decoration planters that came with, um, I'm pretty sure those ones came with blooming rooms. And yeah, kind of cluttered up the counters and, and all of that. So, and each of the stores has a little public bathroom and then they each have 
a kind of back room with the staircase that will go upstairs to the apartment. And for the uh, uh, the one that I did first for the flower shop, um, I put like the flower arranging table in there. I think that's really the only actual usable item. Everything else is just decorative. Um, but of course you could you know add more stuff if you wanted. Um, it might be nice to have like a computer back there, but um, I'll be honest, I did not really play test this one. So I don't know how functional the actual store of it is. Um, I did have a sim kind of move in just to plant things in the greenhouse. Um, even though those end up basically just being all daisies, I was, I just kind of ran out of patience trying to buy different seed packets and get different plants. Yeah. And then here is the toy store. Um, and I started off with doing sort of the same layout, but I was like, uh, I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. So I put the counter um, on the right side instead of the back and then put a whole bunch of different shelves on this uh, other wall. And then I'll put some in the middle as well. And then I basically just fill them up with as many uh, like little toys or like small electronics that I could find. Um, I thought that would make sense too, you know, not just toys since they're, there are quite a few toys in the game, but not quite enough for a whole store in my opinion. But honestly, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not really a huge fan of most of the shelves in the game, especially for, you know, retail stores. I don't know. A lot of them don't really seem super realistic to me. I would love some sort of item, maybe like a modular sort of thing, like, uh, like all the dream home decorator stuff where you could like put pieces together, um, similar to like, um, you know, like in a target or something where it's like the, the sort of almost like a pegboard where the shelves just kind of slot in and, and whatnot. So I think that would, uh, certainly look a little bit more realistic, um, or even just like empty bookshelves, like empty versions of bookshelves we already have in the game, uh, would be really nice. And then you could just like put whatever you want in them. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to get as many different toys in here. I've got like this void critter section. I got like the void critter console gaming battle station. Uh, I put in a science table, a couple of different of the different versions of the Blarfy and, and all of that. So yeah, I think this, uh, I think this space turned out really well. It's really colorful and fun. Um, I put in like these, uh, like the magazine rack and this little book cart. I imagine maybe they sell, you know, comic books and, um, you know, kids, kids books. Um, and yeah, I wanted to put in, I also put in a couple of different, uh, computers. I thought that would make sense. Like a couple of small laptops and a, and a nicer computer. And yeah, and similar to the church build, basically I do the build like how I would normally do any any build. So it's just like, um, you know, regular build mode. It's like summer. Uh, so I, cause I wanted to make sure that it looked fine in other seasons besides winter. Uh, so yeah, I do pretty much all the building uh, during, you know, summer. Um, and then at the end, after I do the lighting, I'll, I move, I basically move in a sim. So it's winter. Um, and then I'll do all of the kind of holiday decorating. And here I'm doing the back room for the toy store. Um, I ended up putting this robotic station in, um, which I don't know. I don't know if that would <laughs> actually make that much sense. I, I don't know. I thought it would, I just kind of wanted like another, uh, item to like build things. So I can't remember if there's any sort of toys with that. I feel like there are, but I can't remember. Um, and then I put in some of these like wrapped gifts. I imagine maybe they do like gift wrapping and they're like gifts for people to like pick up that they've ordered. Um, and I put the woodworking table back there um, since you can um, at least craft some sculptures. I don't know about toys actually. I should really look into that more. But yeah, so I am up in the apartment now for the, uh, for the toy shop. Uh, this is the first one that I do. And yeah, it's got a pretty large open living area and I'll kind of cut a little bit here because I was, um, I had tried to move the kitchen over to where the dining table is, uh, but it wasn't really working. The, the space was, honestly, the space was kind of weird. I find like a square isn't super great for doing a big open floor plan like this. Um, just since, I don't know, with the three different spaces, I find it can be kind of tricky to get things to fit very well. Um, but I think, it ended up turning out okay. 
Um, so you have to let me know what you think about that. And I originally wanted to do a seating area in the turret, um, but the chairs weren't really looking right there. So I put in the easel first and then I was like, well, I think it would probably make sense to put your Christmas tree there. I think that'd be like the most like visible and like a really cool place to, to have a tree. So I put that there, just kind of move the easel somewhere else. I imagine, you know, since they um, are selling toys, they're very creative. Maybe they like to paint as well. So put an easel in there and yeah, again, leaning very heavily into the red and green. Um, pretty much every room is red or green um, <laughs> or a little bit of both. Uh, so yeah, for the uh, bedroom, I went with this, um, I'm pretty sure it's Cottage Living is the wallpaper um, is where that's from. And then uh, a lot of the furniture is from Cats and Dogs. Uh, I was originally gonna do more of the sort of quilted pattern, but it was beginning to be just a lot of pattern, um, especially with the wallpaper. Um, so I thought the kind of more solid red looked really nice in here uh, with the colors and, and whatnot. So. Yeah, I mean, overall, the furnishings are fairly simple. Um, you know, if you want to use this as a rental lot, I didn't want to, you know, clutter them up too much um, just so that they would, you know, still run okay. Um, plus, I didn't, you know, again, I didn't really have a specific sim in mind, so I didn't customize it too much outside of it just being very Christmas themed, I guess. And both of the apartments ended up having pretty decent sized bathrooms, which is always nice. So able to fit in you know a separate tub and a separate shower so um yeah i thought that was nice and then uh, i thought maybe th these people would have uh, a cat or two cats or something um so i did put a cat tree and like a pet bowl um, on the landing there and if there's anything you ever want to see me build please leave it in the comments i would love to hear it i'm more you know i'm very open to um you know trying to build pretty much anything so yeah let me know and yeah i am now over in the second apartment this one's above the flower shop and i was thinking maybe this one was maybe a little bit more renovated um the kitchen's a little bit newer uh, a little bit nicer cabinets and appliances and and all of that but still it's a very classic look like the the paint and the tile on the on the walls are still you know very classic but everything has been, you know, kind of freshened up and, and updated. And this kitchen and the bathroom in this unit are probably the least <laughs> Christmassy. I mean, there is, you know, quite a bit of green in this kitchen, but I wouldn't really immediately think of Christmas when I saw it. So, um, yeah, this one's a little bit more toned down, but obviously the wallpaper in the living room and this bedroom are kind of insane. So I, yeah, I, I wanted to at least have some of that come through. And one thing I've really noticed doing these like Christmas themed builds is that almost uh, pretty much none of the beds have any really good green swatches. They're, I mean, I guess, I mean, I I shouldn't say that they're not good, but like they're not, uh, there's not a variety of greens. They're pretty much all this sort of lighter, sagey kind of green, um, which is fine in a lot of builds, but I would have loved a more, I don't know, like a, just a darker green, like a hunter or an emerald sort of look. Um, I think that would have worked a lot nicer in, in these sorts of builds. Um, even the red bedspreads are kind of hit or miss. Um, but yeah, I would love to see some more colors on, I mean, really all the items in the game. I mean, I can honestly, I, I'm greedy, so I'm gonna want, you know, a thousand swatches for, for every single item, but especially beds and especially couches. I really just want more couches in the game because they are, I don't know. Some of the newer ones are much nicer. Um, they actually look like, you know, couches that people would actually have in a house. <laughs> but yeah, they, uh, they, could, they could work on that. That would be, really nice so um yeah for this living room i did quite a bit of yellow uh with the red i thought that looked kind of nice that sort of goldy and kind of golden red look um i thought that worked out uh pretty well here and you know i actually didn't go overboard with like plants in the in the apartment i imagine you know like they're surrounded by plants all day they probably don't really want to have to take care of a whole bunch like in their house as well um, so they get all of their, 
you know, they get the they they get their fix on plants when they're working in the flower shop downstairs. So I try not to go too overboard with with that uh, in the actual apartment. And now I am outside doing the landscaping for the lot. And like the toy shop side is much simpler. It's just got these big hedges and a couple of um, flowering shrubs. Um, but I do a lot more actual flowers on the flower shop side. Since I thought that would make a lot more sense, you know, they would want to have a lot more, they'd have a lot more pride in that. So yeah, this will be the last video before Christmas, um, but I will have uh, two more videos before the end of the year. Um, so I won't be taking, you know, any sort of break or, or anything, um, you know, before the end of the year. So uh, regular postings for that. Um, it's also nice because I have uh, the whole week off from, from work coming up. So I'm really hoping to get ahead on some things. And my goal is really to be like two videos ahead at all times. Um, just so, you know, if anything happens, I don't um, I fall behind again. So that is the goal is to try and get ahead on some things, start planning some new um, ideas for, for next year. Um, I need to wrap up the uh, Sims 2 builds for Veronaville in Windenburg. Um, so those will be coming out. And then, yeah, I think... I mean, those that that'll take care of all of the kind of main worlds from The Sims 2. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to continue on and do. Um, there's like another world called River Blossom Hills, I think, that came with uh, The Sims 2 Seasons. Um, so there's ha there's some houses in that world that I could recreate. Um, I don't know if they're really as interesting. I mean, they're certainly not as iconic as a lot of the other uh builds from the sims 2 so i don't know i'll have to I'll have to think about that if you have any thoughts please let me know i would love to hear that and here in the build i'm just doing all of the lighting for the lot if you haven't seen any of my videos before i do like to do the lighting kind of all at once um you know at nighttime just kind of helps you know set the set the right vibe for all the different rooms so and next week i'm going to try really hard to do a live stream as well i really want to start doing uh live streaming uh probably i don't know probably on twitch i don't know it's it's tough i know there's you know kind of pros and cons to streaming on twitch versus youtube so i think i'm gonna try twitch at first and kind of see what that's like but yeah hope i would I, my goal would be to do maybe like at least twice a week um uh, you know assuming i'm <laughs> I'm okay at it. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I I don't know. I still struggle to even actually build and try to re like do audio recording at the same time and like narrate what I'm doing. So uh, I guess we'll see how well that goes. Um, but if you're interested in that, please let me know. Um, obviously, I will let you all know whenever I figure out what day I will be doing it. Um, but yeah, I am... I'm excited to give it a shot and see how that goes. But yeah, now I'm just doing all of the decorating for the holidays. I had forgotten about the kind of free holiday pack that they um, that they gave that had a bunch of other decor items. So um, I made sure to use a bunch of that stuff as well. Um, and yeah, I, I think it turned out really nice. It's very, very festive overall. But that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for me. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I know there's a million things you could be doing. Um, so I really appreciate you taking the time to watch today. Um, if you're celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you are just hanging out, happy holidays. I hope you have a wonderful, relaxing weekend, week, month, 2024. Um, thank you again so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Have a great day.